Hi, welcome to MSG91. In this video, we will get to know about Chatbot in Hello. Live chat offers human-to-human -human communication and adds empathy to support conversations, while chatbots elevate the support experience by offering instant answers and automating responses to support queries. Live chat and chatbots work together to provide a high-quality customer support experience to your customer. Click on Hello Control Center to continue. Click on Bots, auto-reply. Then click on Add. Next, select Bot Type. There are two bots, Lex and ChatGPT. In this video, we will get to know about LX Chatbot. Next, name the bot. Give a display name and description to the bot. Afterwards, click on Save. Then the option to create intent will open, which means the purpose of creating the bot. Give the name to intent and add the descriptions and click on Save. It will open the option to add details for the bot. The first option is to add client query, means what will be your user's first query or words. Note, these are required values. Add the initial query here. Here is an example of the most common queries of our business. You can add it as per your business. Add as many queries as possible. You should cover all the similar as well as different questions and queries. Note, the client queries should not be the same for multiple intents. For example, if you are providing hello and hi client queries for the first intent, then you cannot add on these client queries, hello and hi, other than the first one. Click on Save and Next. After this, the next option will be Initial Response. In this, the answer to the user's first query, say, what will the bot respond after the user sends it in the chat? Note, Initial Response is optional. Now click on Save and Next. After the Initial Response, the next option is to add information on user input. This means the bot will ask these questions from your users after they respond to the initial response. Like if you want to know the size of the product and the type of the product from the users. Note, slot names should not be the same for multiple slots. It is a required category. After that, select input type. Input type. We provide various options in the dropdown, like number, alphanumeric, date, etc. Select the input type. Add bot query, also known as prompt query. What query will the bot ask in the chat? Select maximum retry. Maximum retry. How many times do you want to repeat the query from the user when the user provides the wrong answer? Select accordingly. Click on add. Then click on save and next. Functional call. API call. It is optional to create it. Here you can add your API that you want to call on action. Then add the success response that you want to show to the users in case of API success. Add the failure response for the API use case. Pop-up will appear when we click all functions. Here we had to add our functions. That's how API integration looks like upon the functional call. Click save and next to continue. Closing response. You can create your closing response in text format, button format, CTA format, or in a list format. After completing the conversation, this closing response will work. In text, only text will be sent. Click on button. Buttons. We provide options to create three buttons so that the user can choose from them. Like, content. Do you want to know about our products? No and maybe. You can add a maximum of three buttons. In CTA, this means call to action. We provide users with call to action buttons, in which when the user clicks on this button, he will be redirected to the URL you will insert in the column of the URL. Click on List. List. Here you can add a down list of products, services, or various other options for users to choose from. The limit of items is 10. You can add at most 10 options. Closing response. You can create your closing response in text format, button format, CTA format, or in a list format. After completing the conversation, this closing response will work. After that, save your response and click on Save and Next. Click on Save. And first intent will be successfully created. Give the button a closing response. And closing response has to be same as opening response in Next or other intents, so that when client selects a closing response, the next intent will only get open, or that intent will get open, which is needed there. Every intent had their different client query and different closing response. Once that's done, click on Create New to create further intents. Give the details to the next intent. Following that, click on Save. 
Add queries here. It should be closing response of previous intent. Click on Save and Next. Afterwards, click on Closing Response. Give the display text, Preview on right side. Enter URL in the CTA URL section. Click on Save, and you can create as many intents in a bot. Now click on Welcome Message. Give the welcome message. Once that's done, click on Fallback. Click on Never. A fallback message means if user input is not recorded in the intent, it will automatically show this message in the chat. After that, add content to the fallback message. Once that's done, click on Save. Click on Build. It may take one to two minutes. Click on Test Bot. It will give a greeting message easily. Following that, click here. Enter the basic details in a test chatbot. Next, click on Chatbot Pricing. Following that, click on Chatbot Query. Bot was created and tested successfully.